Hello. In the last video, I mentioned the map applicative. Someone pointed it out that there isn't actually a map applicative. And what I actually meant to use and what I was actually using throughout the video was the apply instance of map. So in this short video, I'm going to show you why map doesn't have an applicative and uh, what, uh, what it has instead. What's the difference between applicative and apply? So in order to be a full applicative, we need to implement a few methods. We need to implement uh, methods for the type class for our type. And in the case of, of applicative, that's, that's map, which is uh, by default implemented by, by a combination of the other two. So I'll just remove it for now. We have app, which takes two maps and basically joins them together and uh, applies the function from one to the value in the second. And this is, this is okay. That's the uh, correct way to do it. And as you'll see, it will pass the laws. But there's the third method called pure, which takes uh, an A, which is going to be the value in our map, and creates a map out of it. And it turns out that without anything extra, we cannot implement this. We could just do a map empty, but that is definitely not going to pass any laws. So what else can we do? We can have a monoid instance for the key because we get that from the uh, type parameters of the instance, as that's not part of the method pure. Uh, we could add an instance here, like monoid, and use that. We could do a map with uh, monoid okay, empty to the value of x. So let's go with that and see if, see what happens. Uh, so let's try to run the law tests for that instance. And when I run that, I can see some failing tests. So something is definitely wrong. And basically, an, a map with a key was expected and an empty map was, was received. Uh, let's just make sure that if we override the map instance, it also, the map method, it also fails. So yes, so even though uh, we have a seemingly correct instance, it's just not, it's just not that, it's not correct. So we cannot use the monoid here to implement uh, and this. We can also try the empty map, uh, but that is definitely also not going to pass the laws. So that's one way to do it. We can also not override the map method. This shouldn't change anything, but let's just run it for the sake of completeness. So no, uh, we still get failing law tests, and this is exactly how you would implement an instance. You would run it, uh, you would run the law tests against that instance. So if we cannot have applicative, what do we have? How did I do toppled in the previous video if I couldn't have this? So what we have instead, we don't have that monoid instance, we don't have pure, we just have apply. And now we need to implement map. And this is all we have. Now let's try to run the law test for that. And as you'll see, that instance is lawful. So yeah, this should be apply map. But now you can see that everything passes and there's not as many laws as we used to see but at least all of them are correct now. So this instance is correct. This is just apply. So the difference between applicative and apply is that apply does not have pure. So it's just a functor, so just map, plus the app function or the tuple function, whichever we, we want. But we don't have pure. And that's enough for already quite a lot of stuff we can do uh, we can use plenty of operators, so I'll just remove this instance for now and use the one defined in cats just because it's more efficient and it's usually better to, to use that. Uh, so one thing we can do is create a single map. Let's use a different key, uh, int. So 
something like that, and then uh, another one. So things we can do with applicatives, uh, like all the applicatives, we could do the right shark operator, uh, we could do top hold, uh, we could do map n, and this will all compile even though we don't have an actual applicative instance, and I can prove it further by trying to summon that instance. And no, it's gone. We don't have it, but we have apply for map. So this works because we don't need pure for this. We just need app and map. So this is all we needed and this is actually what we have. Uh, so this is why we can use map in uh, toppled in in well with the right shark right, with the right shark operator, uh, but we cannot actually do something like uh, something like this. We cannot do this because there is no applicative instance. So uh, yeah, this is this, this is it, and this is why the previous video is not completely correct. But I hope you can enjoy it and you enjoyed this one, anyways. So thank you very much for watching, and I still hope you to see you here.